Hi! Welcome to Holy Time TV. Before we start, smash that subscribe button for more videos like this in the future. Once upon a time, in the bustling city of Boston, Massachusetts, a precocious young boy named Benjamin Franklin was born. It was January 17, 1706, and the world was about to be forever changed by the actions of this remarkable child. Benjamin was the 15th of 17 children born to Josiah Franklin, a candlemaker, and his wife Abia Folger. With so many mouths to feed, Josiah knew he had to find a way to secure his children's future. He sent his sons off to various trades, hoping to equip them with the skills necessary to succeed in life. The young Benjamin was first sent to work with his father, but the life of a candlemaker did not captivate his inquisitive mind. At the age of 12, Benjamin was apprenticed to his brother James, who was a printer. Little did James know that this apprenticeship would be the spark that ignited the flame of Benjamin's passion for learning, writing, and the world of ideas. As the years passed, Benjamin's thirst for knowledge grew insatiable. He read every book he could get his hands on, even going so far as to teach himself languages, science, and philosophy. He soon began writing for his brother's newspaper, The New England Current, under the pen name, Silence Do Good. Despite his success, Benjamin's relationship with his brother became strained, and at the age of 17, he decided to leave Boston and forge his own path. He set off for Philadelphia with nothing more than a few coins in his pocket and an unwavering determination to make his mark on the world. Upon arriving in Philadelphia, Benjamin quickly found work as a printer. His reputation for hard work and intelligence spread, and he soon caught the attention of influential people who would help shape his future. Over the years, Benjamin Franklin became a prolific writer, inventor, scientist, and statesman. He played an instrumental role in drafting the U.S. Constitution and was one of the founding fathers of the United States. His inventions, such as bifocals, the lightning rod, and the Franklin stove, greatly improved the lives of those around him. Throughout his life, Benjamin Franklin continued to embody the spirit of curiosity, ingenuity, and determination that had defined him since his humble beginnings in Boston. His legacy lives on, a testament to the boundless potential that lies within each and every one of us. The phrase you might be thinking of is, God helps those who help themselves, which is often attributed to Benjamin Franklin. However, this quote did not originate from any of his books. It actually appeared in his publication, Poor Richard's Almanac. Poor Richard's Almanac was an annual publication that Franklin created under the pseudonym, Richard Saunders, between 1732 and 1758. The almanac contained weather forecasts, practical advice, and various proverbs and sayings, including the aforementioned quote. The phrase, God helps those who help themselves, suggests that people should take responsibility for their own lives and make efforts to improve their situation, rather than solely relying on divine intervention. This idea is consistent with Franklin's belief in hard work, self-improvement, and personal responsibility. Although it is commonly associated with him, it is important to note that the concept predates Franklin and can be traced back to ancient Greek literature, as well as other cultural and religious sources. To reiterate, Benjamin Franklin did not write a book with the specific claim that, heaven is a self-help person. However, the idea of self-reliance and personal responsibility is a recurring theme throughout his works, including, Poor Richard's Almanac. The phrase, heaven helps those who help themselves, is not actually found in the Bible. It is a popular saying that has been attributed to various sources, including ancient Greek literature and the works of Benjamin Franklin. The phrase essentially means that it is important for individuals to take responsibility for their own lives and make efforts to improve their situation, rather than solely relying on divine intervention. While the idea behind the phrase may align with some biblical teachings, the exact wording is not found in the Bible. Though the phrase, God helps those who help themselves, is not explicitly found in the Bible, the concept can still be relevant to Christians when understood in the right context. The idea encourages personal responsibility, diligence, and proactive efforts to improve one's life while maintaining faith in God. 
Here are a few attitudes Christians might maintain through this sentence. Self-reliance and resourcefulness. Christians can strive to be resourceful and proactive in their lives, using the gifts, talents, and opportunities God has given them to overcome challenges and improve their situations. Diligence and hard work. The Bible often encourages hard work and perseverance. Proverbs chapter 14 verse 23. Colossians chapter 3 verse 23. Christians can embody these values by putting their best effort into all their endeavors and trusting that God will guide and support them along the way. Personal Responsibility While Christians believe that God is always there to provide guidance and support, they should also take responsibility for their actions and choices. This means making wise decisions, learning from mistakes, and doing what is necessary to grow spiritually and emotionally. Balance of Faith and Action Christians should maintain a balance between trusting in God's provision and taking action. This means seeking God's guidance and wisdom while also taking steps to improve one's life and help others. James chapter 2 verses 14 to 17 emphasizes the importance of demonstrating faith through action. Humility and gratitude. Christians can maintain an attitude of humility, acknowledging that they cannot achieve everything on their own and that they need God's help and guidance. They should also practice gratitude for the blessings and opportunities they have been given. In summary, the phrase, God helps those who help themselves, can serve as a reminder for Christians to embrace personal responsibility, hard work, and resourcefulness while maintaining faith and reliance on God for guidance and support. God loves you. Have a peaceful and gracious day. If you liked this video, don't forget hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this in the future. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.